I really wish that I had like a really nice actual camera so I could adjust the light balance and stuff. Right. All right, so it is finally Friday. It has been a long week and I had a, a more interesting video planned than what this is titled as, uh, but I just didn't get to it because I didn't actually have time. Here's my quote unquote master notebook. I've got all my notes and stuff in here, not for classes, but everything else. I got back into old habit because I found that it was necessary called time blocking. Pretty much you just lay out the hours from the day of like what you want to do during those times and what you're going to do during those times. So for example, Thursday, 9.27, uh, from 4.30 to 8.30, we had crew, although we got back super late, so I had to skip breakfast. Data structures class, I went to talk to the TA, uh, practice calc for the calc quiz that was here that I feel like I did pretty well on, better than the first one at least. Uh, but then you just kind of cross them out as you get them done, and then you have some stuff done here that your goals are to get done, which I need to cross out, and <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it for today because nothing uh, kind of happened today, so I have to work on my essay for tomorrow. The main point of this video, um, I, I, I saw these like a long time ago, and I thought it might be cool if people are interested, but I kind of just want to show what's in my backpack. So pretty much I have a backpack for uh, most of my classes that I don't even need my laptop for or something, and then I've got a computer bag for, well, what I do need my laptop for. <laughs> all right, so open up the backpack. Uh, there are a few things that I keep on, like in the backpack at all times, pretty much. Uh, the first thing, just some reading material. Right now it's a Time Magazine. I always keep an HDMI cord. You never know when you're gonna have to hook up your laptop because you never know when someone wants to project something. I keep a bunch of playing cards because you can always pull that out. Everyone knows how to, uh, you know, play with playing cards. If they don't, you can teach them some easy games. Uh, I got a pair of socks, as always, and I've got my tech kit. <laughs> So pretty much in this bad boy, in this front pocket here, uh, I've got eyeglass fixer and I've got a USB charger that plugs into USB-C, iPhone and micro USB. Mini USB for camera, uh, USB-C, I have an iPhone charger but I'm using it to charge my portable charger right now. And then I have a micro USB charger. I have some pens, aux cord, battery charger for my camera, some storage. And I have a bigger one of these, but I don't carry it around with me all the time. And then in front here, I just have a USB flash drive and an external hard drive uh, that I just keep around with me for school files or whatever. That's what's always in my backpack. That's kind of my primary way to carry around things as long as I don't have my laptop on me. Um, and some things that I will have on me for classes. So for example, this yellow notepad is for my English class. So I'll just slide that in the backpack along with some books. And then one of my favorite inventions of all time is the rocket book. If you haven't heard of it, I'd recommend kind of looking into it, and if it's something that interests you, go for it. It becomes super useful for college. I carry around some things in my pockets. That includes these four objects. So right here is a Pilot G2 pen, 05, 05, and 07 are my absolute favorites. This is the erasable pen I aforementioned from the Everlast notebook. And then a mechanical pencil and eraser. Mechanical because if I don't carry around a sharpener, um, then I'm kind of screwed. So these I just always have in my pocket. So this is the computer bag itself. I don't actually know what company this is. I'll link stuff down in the description though. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to address is the microfiber cloth. You gotta get one. You just gotta. Clean your phone, clean your computer screen, all that jazz. I flip it open and it's pretty much ready to go as soon as I slide my laptop in. So those pens I have mentioned that I ha always have in my pockets, pretty much always in here. I've got a pad of sticky notes. I've got a small first aid kit. I've got a USB extender because my laptop only has two USB ports. They always stay in there. Um, so I could just slide my laptop in and I'm good to go. Then over here in this mini pocket, I've got the Microsoft Arc mouse, which is super useful, super slim. Although sometimes I will carry around this old USB mouse because with Blender, you kind of need a middle scroll wheel. And then this here is my laptop. Desk setup, maybe save for another video. Uh, the Microsoft Surface Book 2, not fully specced out, but almost there. This thing has been absolutely amazing. I was about to go into a rant about the monitor and the Surface Book and the graphics card, but really, <laughs> not right now. So essentially every time I close the lid, the laptop goes into hibernation mode and the drives disconnect. So I unconnect my uh, hard drive and then I unconnect this other USB extender, slide into the bag, and you're good to go. When I get back from crew in the morning, we get back pretty late sometimes, so like I'll, scarf down breakfast if I have the time. And then I'll run in, I will, for data structures, I will pick up my laptop, slide on my computer bag, and I'm out. And then for English, which is my other 9.30 class, pop in my notebook, my books, and my piece out as well. I think the most useful thing is just having the minimalistic things that I need, but still not being minimalistic, if that makes any sense. But this is kind of what I found that works for me at the moment. Uh, just because, again, it's easy, it's straightforward. I have what I need for my classes, and I have it ready quick. And that's super important. Also, reading material. I know I have my phone. Having reading material or a sketchbook, 
whenever you're waiting, like if you get to class a few minutes early or you're on the subway transporting or something like that, it's nicer to read, even if it's half a page, than go on your phone and scroll through your Instagram feed. There's one motto that I've told myself for a few years now that is so prevalent for New York City is look up, not down. So uh, just really quickly before I end off, recently we had a CS assignment, our first CS assignment, and the wording was very confusing on it, and I, I, I did finish it. It's due in a few hours, but I'm, I'm, I'm all set. In my frustration, I'd like to thank Quacker Oats. This is my programming duck. I will talk to this duck, as long as my roommates aren't here. <laughs> talk about my issues, and I'm like, oh, wow. Wait a minute, that's it? Anyway, without further ado, I'll end on that. I'd also like to thank Wildcard. You guys will be seeing a video of that in a few weeks. I guess I, I did decide that the weekly segment um, would just, it just wouldn't be good. But otherwise, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions you want me to see. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what was in my bag. If you have any questions, let me know. You can find most of the stuff in the description. I don't know, I've stumped together kind of haphazardly, so thank you for making it through. Without further ado, have a good one, and don't forget to stay awesome.